Hi everyone, I am Ishwa Arora and welcome back to our YouTube channel Rethink Education. Yes, you are seeing it correct. It's B.Tech in Information Technology and Mathematical Innovation. Trust me guys, gone are the days when B.Tech can be only done by students who are from the science background. Now no more such kind of barriers. CUET has basically broken all these barriers. In order for you to pursue this great course, you only require mathematics as a compulsory subject. No matter you are from the arts background, no matter you are from the commerce background, you can enroll yourself for this great course that has been included for the very first time in University of Delhi. Yes, you heard it right. Now, even if you are not from the science background, you can pursue this four years B.Tech course from University of Delhi. In this video, we are going to discuss the eligibility criteria that you need to have in order to pursue this program. Also, I'll be discussing the only college from University of Delhi that offers this course. Before moving forward, I would first like to tell you what is new in this course. So firstly, it is a four-year program. It is not a three-year normal course. It is a four-year course, two semesters per year. Next, it basically helps you to build strong analytical skills by studying mathematics along with the great combination of IT, that is information technology. Next, it will basically boost your more research. That is, it, this program is inclined or it is basically designed in such a way that it will boost the research work in undergraduate course. Also, this course offers choice-based credit system. You can choose the system, you can choose the combination of subjects that you wish to choose and then you can study the way you want. Trust me guys, this is a great opportunity for all of you sitting out there who are going to enroll yourself this year for any of the undergraduate program. So yes, you can pursue B.Tech as well. So, but before moving forward, I would also like to put this as a disclaimer that you need to fill the CUET form right away in order to enroll yourself in this course, guys. In fact, this or any other course from University of Delhi, CUET form filling is a must. Please do that. 22nd of May is the last date for the same. So, let's get started. The eligibility criteria this, this course has is pretty simple and pretty manageable. What it is is that you need to have any one language from list A. I'll be showing you list A and list B in a couple of seconds. You need to have any one language from list A. Mathematics for sure, as I told you, mathematics is the only criteria that has been laid down for you. And you need to appear for the section 3 of CUET. That is their general test. That is it, boss. No matter, no matter you're from whichever stream. If you had, you definitely had one language in your curriculum. Let me show you the uh, language list. Say, this is list A. It, in, it includes basically all the languages that are being offered. Any combination of languages you had in your 12th grade, suppose you had English and Hindi. Then you need to choose any one out of the two. But, 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 you need to have that particular language in your 12th grade. That is very important. So if you have just English or just Hindi, then boss, no more choice to you. You need to choose that particular language only. Then they are saying mathematics is compulsory. You need to, you need not to go to list B because there is no other choice, but you have to have mathematics. That is the only criteria. So people who are from the humanities background or from the commerce background and who had maths with them, they have this golden opportunity this time. Please avail it to the best of your abilities. Now, the third criteria that they have is that you need to appear for the CUET general test. Now, what is CUET general test? CUET general test basically involves uh, like logical reasoning, quantitative aptitude, basic English, general awareness, questions on current affairs. So that is the only criteria that they require you to fulfill in order to pursue B.Tech from University of Delhi. Let us see where it is offered. 
so only only center that is cluster of innovation center under university of delhi offers this course now talking about the number of seats they just have 20 seat under the unreserved category and 20 seats under reserved category that is under st obc and sc 20 seats are divided and they have no seats for the ews category so in total 40 seats are there for both reserved and unreserved category don't worry you just need one seat so hardly matters to you whether there are 40 or there are 10 just work for it if you find this course interesting please pursue this course it is something new that has come into our field so for any any more such queries we are there to solve it out stay tuned to our channel for more updates thank you so much